Just making mole. Some of our mama's Welcome. famous mole. Welcome. Um. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is you guys take a bite. All right, I might, good. I might have you. What is that topping? Oh, gosh. Set the 
Christ. We love these photos. <laughs> They're fun, huh? <laughs> um. traditional Mexican dish, and Victor and I got the recipes from both of our mothers. Mmm, smells really good. When you smell that mole sauce simmering, that's when you know the holidays are coming. We were joking, we were all, we should create a candle that's Hershey's and mole. <laughs> the Hershey mole candle. <laughs> I'm uh, Joseph Chavez. And I'm Victor Arreola. And we are married. <laughs> we'll be married uh, six years, December 20th. We have three kids, uh, Miranda, who's seven, and Noah and Tristan, who are five. We knew as young boys that our love didn't fit into the boxes that, you know, society said that your love needs to fit in this box, and it didn't fit in it. And uh, we met through a mutual friend. I was very nervous and terrified to come out and get into a dating scene that I was um, suppressing myself from being involved in. And when I went to visit his house and met his dad for the first time, it was a little nerve wracking. We come from traditional Mexican families and I was entering his home as something more than a friend, though they didn't know that yet. I came out to my parents maybe two years before that. He prayed for his family before we even existed to them. I never dreamt that big. I never thought I could be a Latino gay guy to be a dad or, a, or have a, a marriage, you know? And for me, it's when I decided to let my heart breathe and give my life over to whatever is supposed to happen in my life and stop pleasing everybody else. Okay, so I'm gonna add mold to the chicken. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Mmm, smells really good. So my dad uh, is from Phoenix, Arizona, and my mom is from El Paso, Texas. Um, I am third generation Mexican. Cooking in the house is my mom's thing. Um, we've got our traditional recipes that she's um, kept going from my grandmother's and I don't know how, how many generations it goes down. Mole is a traditional Mexican dish and Victor and I got the recipes from both of our mothers and I think uh, we were happy to see that both of our mother's recipes were very similar because there's lots of different ways it could go. So I grew up like 15, 20 minutes away from uh, east from downtown LA, but I, I feel like I, I might as well have been raised in Mexico because what my uncles and aunts did out there, my parents did out here as well. I mean, I grew up in a house where there's beans every day on the stove, you know? Um, like there was home cooked meals every day, three times a day. Um, the tortillas were often made at the house. Smothered in mole. Mole is usually served with chicken and Mexican rice, and it's got lots of ingredients. The most interesting ingredient is this is a dish that contains chocolate, and we tweaked it a little bit to make it our own a little bit. I really love our spin. I mean, just knowing that it's a dish that my family makes in Mexico, and then we add our touch of Hershey's chocolate, like it just makes complete sense for us. We were able to uh, incorporate the kids into the recipe this last time. It was such a, a cool thing to sit down and have our moms nearby as we took on their recipe. And then we had the kids come in and one of them put the raisins, one was the sliced almonds, but the one that they were fighting for was the uh, Hershey's semi-chocolate sweet chips. And that's like the added touch to a mole is the chocolate and using um, something from our childhood that brought us, you know, happiness is the Hershey's chocolate, but then, you know. Incorporating our kids, putting it in, the, yeah. seeing their faces, you know, knowing that they're gonna Into taste chocolate. Into a traditional chocolate recipe. Chicken, yeah. It just brought it all together. Tradition is uh, very important to us. So I think we actually get excited when we become that bridge from a generation from then and bridge over to the generation of our children now. <laughs> oh my god, it was good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I think sharing a meal is a memory that's looked back on when a loved one is no longer here. And I think um, you remember, you remember the last meal you had with the loved one. I do. 
Uh, there was a time in 93, um, we lost my father suddenly. Um, and then in 2007, we lost my little brother suddenly. Um, my mother and I know um, tragedy and we know how hard it can be um, to lift each other up. And I gotta tell you, um, the cooking in the kitchen with my mom, when you don't have words to say to each other and you need to do something, um, we found ourselves in the kitchen a lot. No one's promised tomorrow. It's all about the moment, like Victor said. And sitting down all together for a meal is important for Victor and I. We're really, really busy. Things are going on. But at least one meal, no electronic devices, no, no TV, TVs. and we're going to talk to each yeah. other. And Victor's really good about this because he starts off the conversation. It's almost like a round table meeting. He'll start with the Miranda. What was your favorite part of today? And sometimes she'll say, Daddy, right now, this is my favorite part. You know, they're just gonna know it's gonna be a time where everyone's gonna drop everything. Everyone's gonna, gonna go into the kitchen. We're gonna talk to each other. We're gonna connect. We're gonna embrace history and we're gonna make new history. This is my breakfast and lunch right now. <laughs> you make sure you get a little avocado. Um. You can usually start smelling the aroma of a mole dish probably um, second week, but mid-November. That's when you know the holidays are coming. And it's almost like smelling a pumpkin spice or a clove. When you smell that mole sauce simmering, it's like aromatherapy, you know? It's comfort. Sharing a meal with a loved one is, is it's special, you know, in every way because you're sitting there physically with them, enjoying great food, you're smelling, you're tasting, you're having great conversation. I'm very in the moment a lot. You know, because uh, there were days when I didn't think I'd be in my 40s, you know? So just, uh, I appreciate every family member, every friend, anybody who sits in front of me. I think I'll have a Hershey's <laughs> Would you like a kiss? 